Got some new details this morning on the resignation of FIU President Mark Rosenberg. He's now revealing the reason he resigned. It was due to sexual harassment allegations. A source says a female employee, almost 50 years his junior, nearly left her job after months of continued advancement. CBS 4's Carly Barnett with the story. FIU President Mark Rosenberg now says the reason he suddenly stepped down on Friday was due to allegations of sexual harassment against him. He had first said it was due to health issues. He released a new statement Sunday saying he, quote, caused some discomfort for a valued colleague. He goes on to say, I unintentionally created emotional, not physical entanglement. I have apologized. I apologize to you. I take full responsibility for my actions. Rosenberg attributed his behavior to the challenges of being a caregiver to his wife, a type 1 diabetic suffering from advanced dementia, saying, quote, when I finally realized the impact that her condition had on my personal well-being in late October 2021, I sought professional mental health services, end quote. A source tells CBS4 Rosenberg subjected a woman who works at the university to unwanted sexual advances starting last October. The source says the woman told Rosenberg she was not interested in any kind of relationship with him. He reportedly apologized and promised not to bring it up again, but renewed his advances a short time later. The employee is in her 20s. Rosenberg is 72. The woman told a fellow employee about what had been happening, and when he found out, Rosenberg reported his own behavior to the chairman of the Board of Trustees, who launched an investigation. After the initial findings, Rosenberg was given the choice to be terminated or resign, which he did. Carly Barnett, CBS4 This Morning. And we should mention that CBS4 is not identifying the woman at this time. We are told that she is hiring an attorney. The internal investigation is still continuing, looking through text messages and other forms of communication. The school's chief financial officer, Kenneth Jessel, is serving in the interim.